Hey guys, it's Sylvie Mystery and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing some shit. Okay, this is going to be like, this is going to be a very large video. Okay, like, just, you're probably going to sit here for an hour or two watching me do like shit. So, I mean, this is a great video for you to watch if you're like doing laundry or, I don't know, like hating your life, doing home, I don't know. If you're just bored and you need something really long to watch, you're going to watch this, okay? Look who's behind me, Griffin Wing, the cutest fjord in the whole freaking game. Oh my god. Um, but anyway, today I'm riding Fairy Dust, or aka Fair Dean, and she's going to be taking me around, and we're going to be, we're going to be just experiencing content because, bitch, my video software was gone, like, like literally died, and I had to find a way to get it back without having to pay three hundred dollars out my ass. So yeah, we're I got it I got it back and we're gonna be we're gonna be having a great time, you and me. Yes we will. Um first things first, I wanted to show you some outfits that I made. Cause I just love to share things with you guys. So I made some outfits out of the new like tack that they released. Cause like let's be honest, this tack is freaking gorgeous. The only problem is they didn't add any freaking t-shirts. Why did you not add any matching clothes? To this garbage like, I don't understand like how stupid are you star stable god oh my god anyway so I made some outfits I'm just gonna show you this shirt is I don't know where from green polo shirt you can probably look it up on the database and figure out where it is probably in the global store I don't know and then there's this yellow outfit that I also have which you can find this yellow shirt from somewhere as well I don't know where <laughs> yellow cardigan um yeah, but it's really cute, and it goes really well with this. You could also probably do this other yellow shirt that I have, uh, this yellow and white polo shirt. I feel like this also matches, but you can't do this shirt, okay? This one doesn't match because it's got more of a gold undertone. Like, use your eyeballs. Like, you look close, you see some gold stitching. That's not going to match this. It's not going to work. This already goes with fucking, where is it? With this, okay? That's what you use this with. Okay, you never use it with this because... I'm just anal, okay? Like, some things need to go together. Some things just need to go with something else, okay? You're just gonna have to deal with it. Um, the next thing is the blue outfit that I have. This is the only top that I think matches this saddle pad and leg wraps, okay? The only other one that I can think of is this freaking little tank top. Little, this little, I don't even know. I don't even think this matches, okay? Like, I would, I would actually wear this top with, like, this blue piece of shit, you know? Because they have the most stripey, like... They have more things in common. Like, these two just get along better in my brain, and and these don't. Like, where did that fuck? Uh, these do not. Like, these, th this is too light blue, so I think it, I would pair it with this, you know? And if you have any questions, take it up with, um, someone else. Anyway, so I guess you could also do this shirt, but I really don't like this shirt because of the clipping with the arms. And, yeah, it's just not for me, okay? I like this baseball shirt. It's more boyish. It's way more cute. Um, I don't know, you can maybe do, like, the AAE shit, but probably not. I don't recommend it. Don't rec I don't recommend this either because this is dark. Um, not even that, like, no. Like, I don't think that works. It's too light blue. This is what I would do, okay? That's what, that's my style right there. Now, for the black outfit, I just throw this shit together. If you haven't kept this jumper, you're dumb. Like, just, why would you sell it? Are you stupid? Anyway... <laughs> Um, and then there's also, like, the brown, okay, like, for the brown shit, this is what I did, guys. I, like, hold your breath because I don't even know if this looks good, but I put those together. Where's the brown poo? There it is. And I put that, and I would wear black tack. I wouldn't wear this walnut stuff, okay? Go look, at, just go look at my Instagram, okay? I don't feel like, I don't feel like showing you this outfit because it doesn't look right with the brown, okay? It just does not. It's not the vibe. Okay. Um. Yeah. So, I need to put all of this shit away now. So give me a give me a moment while I hate my life and have to put all of these things away. Cause I can't keep all I can't keep this clutter in my inventory. Like I just I can't do it. I I actually physically can't do it. Like I'm just gonna put it all away. So red first, then yellow. Green is gonna go there. So I'll put blue here, and then I'll put the brown. Or should I do it the other way around? So then it's like, like that. I don't know. Like, I actually prefer doing red first. I just do. Like, that's my, 
That's what I do. Okay. <coughs> and the black go always goes last because, I don't know, I like going from, like, light colors to dark colors. I don't know. Anyway, um, uh, black, or this blue shirt goes here, this thing goes there, this thing goes here, and then, oh yeah, the black, sh black jumper goes there. I have, like, a place for everything, you know? I have everything goes in its place. Everything, I have to keep all my cute little outfits organized, otherwise I will go insane. I just will. I'm already kind of insane, but, like, we don't talk about that. No, we do not. We do not bring that up in a conversation, okay? You do not talk to me and be like, oh, why are you insane? Like, you don't say that to people. Are you dumb? <clears throat> That's not very respectful. Um... Okay, and then I just, my brain farts when I do these things. So I think the black boots go here, and then gloves get the frick out of my face. Yellow cardigan goes there. Okay, now my inventory's clean and I'm happy. I always keep, so I'm weird. This is why I'm weird, guys. I always keep this hal this little halter in my inventory, because what if I need to halter my horse, okay? You don't understand. And then I always keep a black saddlebag saddle because, like, what if I want to put a pet on my horse real quick? And the reason why it's black is because I'm just going to remove it and keep the pet on my horse regardless. Because I'm not stupid. I'm not dumb like you, okay? I know how to do glitches that are, like, useful and look, make myself not look stupid with an ugly saddlebag hanging off the side of my horse, okay? And then I have the black leg wraps. Just, I don't know why I have these. Actually, I'm going to put them away because I don't... I don't know why they're, they're even there. Bye. I really wish they would make a walnut freaking rope halter, you guys. I need to go off. They only made three rope halters that I can use. And I only bought two of them. I got this one and I have this black one. I like this tan because it's kind of natural looking. And then this one I like because it's black, obviously. But then there's like this ugly fugly one. And then there's this ugly green one, which doesn't match anything. It kind of does not even match this outfit. Like, I can't even wear it with this outfit. It's useless. And then there's this ugly rainbow one, which is ugly because, because, welcome to class, there's a red crap right here. Someone took a shit right there, and someone made this area all dark, like, retard. Like, what are you doing? Are you retarded? Are you actually dumb? Ugh, like, what are they doing? Like, do they not know how to shade properly in this game? Question mark? Question mark? <laughs> okay, we're gonna leave now because I'm getting too stressed out. I need to get away from my stables. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Breathe, Sylvie. Okay, I'm breathing. Like, All right, so we're gonna go look at the Belgians. I'm not excited for these horses because um, everybody rides the same ones. Like, everybody's on these bright ass bay. I'm not getting this ugly bay. Like, actually, it's not ugly. It's really cute, but like, I'm not getting it because ew. Everybody rides it. Like, I'm not going to... Every YouTuber has bought that freaking bay. Like, I'm not going to ride the same horse as everybody else. And then there's the buckskin, which is really cute, honestly. Like, look at how cute that is. It's like a little brown baby. And then there's the brown, the beautiful... Oh, my God. Let's just go to the Silverglade Manor and look at all of them. I don't even know if I want to buy one today. I'm, like, so anxious. I'm not really interested in all of the coats. Okay, the coats... The coats are nice. The coats are fine. Okay, I have no problem. But, like... Do I want to buy a boring horse? Not sure. I mean, I guess I should for the animations, but it's like they don't even have a dapple gray. Like, why don't they have a da why don't they have a dapple gray? I don't understand. Like, I I genuinely don't understand why they didn't make a dapple gray. They have a black and they have a white. Look at this. They have the white and then they have. Don't tell me to call this. I'm not calling it gray. I'm not calling this horse gray. You cannot make me call it gray. Shut the fuck up. Okay, here's the black. So they have a white and a gray, or they have a white and a black, but they won't, they don't have a gray. Where's my dapple gray? I don't understand. Anyway, here, here's the buckskin as well. Me acting like a spoiled br <laughs> brat. And then we have the brown. My cat is like, why are you screaming over here? Here's the beautiful brown. I love it. And then here's the chestnut. The chestnut is nice. And then here's the seal bait. I don't, I don't like the seal bait. Okay. I don't like it. You know why I don't like it? Cause I will explain. Okay. It's, it has beautiful. It's beautiful, like beautiful brown. I love it. Um, this is why I don't like it, though. What is this cum stain on the forehead? Like, what is that? 
like who decided to take whipped cream and just like like leave it on the forehead like why would you do that I'm just kidding it's really detailed and everything but I don't like it because I wish that it was just plain dark bay you know that's fine though I like this one better this one is nice this one is really nice this one is really nice and the white where's the white one the white one is really nice but like everybody's gonna get the white one like why would I want to buy the white one I don't know I'm so stressed and then there's like there's the ugly bright bay which is sold at four pinta and it's also at your stables for some reason why is it there because there's like a weird event going on and I need a Belgian uh, warm blood so I'm kind of debating should I buy the brown baby should I buy this baby or should I buy should I buy this brown baby what should I buy I don't know See, I don't know, and I'm I'm undecided, so I'm just gonna go with I need to buy a horse. I need to buy a horse, you guys. Ugh, don't wanna buy I don't wanna buy them. I don't I don't. I don't wanna buy them because be like, Sylvie, why don't you wanna buy one? Because I don't wanna buy one. Okay, I just don't. There's no dapple gray. <laughs> I'm kind of angry. There's no gray. You know how long it's been since we've gotten a dapple gray? It's too freaking long, okay? Let's go to New Hillcrest because there is actually a horse there that I've been looking at but not sure if I should get it. And I'm still not certain. You guys, I'm trying to save, save star coins because I don't want to waste any more money on this stupid game even though I bought literally all of those saddle pads that I just showed you. All of those tacks. I have issues. I really do. I care more about outfits than I do buying horses these days. Can you believe that? There's something wrong with me. But anyway, let's go up here with my little slow horsey. And then I'm going to do quests. I'm going to do the Herman garbage. Look at all these things I have to do. I have four things to do. I'm not going to do this one though because this is just... Ugh, I'm not going to run my ass all the way into the freaking... They are. I'm not going to do that until the main story. Uh, we get more actual main story. I don't care about the story snacks. I don't. At, th at this point, it's just it's just pointless dialogue. So here we go. The brown Icelandic. Oh my god, this horse is so cute. Look at it. Oh my god, it's so cute. I want to get this horse. You see, I care more about Icelandics, even though the animation's like the main sucks ass. I'm just going to trim it off anyway. I'm just going to do this. Snip. It's gone. I'm just gonna do roached. Fast gallop. Why did they put the pace here? Why? Anyway, I really like the bay. I'm, I think I'm gonna get this horse instead of getting a Belgian. People are like, are you dumb? Why are you getting that instead of a Belgian? Because I'm not interested in the Belgians. Okay, I'm not. They have nice animations, yes, but like, do I want one? No, I don't want... I don't want a boring horse. I, I would, even though this is a boring horse. You know what? I'm done. Like, I am done explaining myself to you people. Like, I don't need to explain my feelings all the time. Like, I can just feel what I want to feel. Fuck you, okay? Oh, my God. I'm having a mental breakdown. What horse do I even want? Um, I don't know. I'm, like, literally having a midlife crisis right now over something so stupid I should just go buy the Dark Bay because the Dark Bay is the best one. Like, let's be honest, it's the best horse. And I'm not buying a Classic Bay. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not going <laughs> to. I really like the Buckskin, too, though. Oh, my God. I can't make a choice. I can't make a decision. I can't make this decision right now. I only want to buy one of them. I don't want to buy three or four or anything like that. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to buy, like, one. I just want to buy one. Can I just buy one of them? No, I cannot. I cannot buy one. Because I'm going to wait for the Tennessee Walkers. And I'm going to get the Dapple Gray one. And I don't even like the Dapple Gray Tennessee Walker that much. And I'm kind of like... <sighs> just I'm just... You know what? I would rather just buy the Icelandic. I would Isn't it weird that I would rather buy the Icelandic? It's so weird. Like, I shouldn't buy the Icelandic shouldn't what how come they never made a gray Icelandic you guys you guys how come they never made me a gray Icelandic why didn't they do that for me 
Can you explain to me why they didn't make me a gray Icelandic? It doesn't make any sense. Like, they have to make it eventually, right? Because they're going to update Nixies, right? Or are they not going to upgrade... Are they not going to update the Nixies? I really hope they do. They already updated one of the Windfells. They got the updated Galloper Thompson horse. So surely they're going to update Will Windfells and they're going to update Nixies as well. They have to. They have to. I really hope they do. They were so iconic. <laughs> I want a dapple gray Icelandic so bad. You have no idea. Like, I'm literally dying for one. What, am, what else am I dying for? Um, a pr proper light dapple gray shire. That would be cool. But that's not going to happen because we already got a gray shire. And we'll never get anything that I want. Do you guys remember the old gray shire? That was my favorite horse. Oh my god, I loved that horse. The old gray shire because it was like a light gray. It was so majestic. And then the new gray shire we got is like dark. And it looks like an old man. And it's just not the same. What are you whining about, Bensie? What is what is the whine about? He's like, you're talking too much. Shut the fuck up. <sighs> oh my god. I don't know what my decision is going to be. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to not buy a horse. I'm not going to do that. We're not doing that. Okay, we're not, we're not buying a horse. But you have to buy a Belgian. You have to review the animations, Sylvie. Do I really want to review the animations when I already reviewed them in the spoiler video? Yes, Sylvie, you gotta ride it for yourself. Oh my god, you gotta ride this stupid horse. Why? What's the point? So I can train another horse and hate my life. That's why. I don't you see you see why I don't wanna do these like I don't wanna buy horses anymore unless I love them. Like I don't wanna buy a horse unless unless I'm in love with it. That's how I feel lately. <clears throat> but I do love I do love Icelandics I do love these chunky little babies you hear my cat crying because it's really cute so the reason I can't I feel like I can't buy this is because like I should buy a Belgian so I can review it for you guys but I don't want to buy a Belgian <laughs> don't want to buy a Belgian. I'd rather buy this. <sighs> I should just start this whole video over. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm having a midlife crisis because I don't know what horse to buy. Who would have thought that Sylvie Mistream would not be able to buy a new horse? It couldn't be me. I could never think that about that bitch. She usually buys everything. Should I just buy the buckskin? I like the buckskin a lot. Someone, I saw someone in my club came up with a really cool name, Watership. Like, Watership Down, which is, like, a show that I love. And I think I'm going to use it as well. I think I'm going to steal that name idea from them because I love Watership Down. It's such a good show. I think I'm just going to get this horse. I'm just going to get it because the buckskin is the best one. Like, you can't convince me otherwise. And then we'll make it a adult gelding i think it's a boy it looks like a boy to me it does wait we can't buy it yet i have to take off my tack because i'm just gonna ride this horse right away i'm gonna do i need to do the quests and all of those things <clears throat> so should we change its mane give it a braids give it a roached the roached is kind of cute I think I'll just do the original main because I want to see how it moves. Water ship. Adult gelding. Alright, let's go. I don't know why everybody makes their horse a youngster. Like, do you understand what a youngster is? You're riding like a horse that's like a project horse, probably. I don't think I would want to ride a project horse. I think I would want a horse that's kind of like... You know... I don't know, I guess some people like to start out with youngsters, but I don't know. I like to have a, a more adult horse, a more mature horse. This is a really pretty horse, wow. All right, let's go review the gates somewhere. Um, I guess we will go... I'm actually kind of happy I got this horse. It's beautiful. It's a really nice horse. Like, I love it. Wow. 
Oh, that jump. Oh, my God. The jump is so good. It's so much better than I thought it would be. Stop lag. It's so much better than I thought it would be. Oh, it's so cute. I'm kind of happy now. Okay, yes, this was a good purchase, I think. This horse looks so, so much better than, like, so many other warm bloods that we have. This this horse looks better to me than the English thoroughbreds. Like, just the way that it stands as well. It already, like, looks way more real than the English thoroughbred horse does. So let's go look at the animations. I'm gonna make it so that I can't see other people. Yeah, okay. Can you get this thing out of here? Okay. So we'll start with the walk. Oh my goodness, this walk looks really good. Oh, I like it. We'll do the trot. <clears throat> Very nice. And then we'll do the gallop. Or the canter, sorry. Canter. Oh, it looks just like a real horse. Oh my god, it's so realistic. I love this. Look at its butt also. It has a nice butt. <laughs> this is the type of cake you want to be looking at, you know what I mean? And then here's the gallop. Early the gallop. Yeah, whatever gallop. I don't care. Slow gallop. Looks really nice. Is this the extended canter or is this the slow gallop? Like, can you leave a comment and tell me what the fuck it is? And then here's the full gallop. Oh my goodness. This one, this looks a little weird to me, but I think it's because it's supposed to be a show jumper that's supposed to be constantly, like, ready to jump. When, when you do a lot of jumping and you look at the animations like that, I think it looks better. Like, for instance, let's go do, let's go do the show jumping races. And I feel like that's a better perception. Oh yeah. See, I already real feel like I'm riding like a real show jumping horse. Like a warm blood that was like bred to be ready to jump. You know what I mean? Yas. I'm actually like a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of it. My, my cat, oh my god, my cat has this bad habit lately where she's been, she, le she leans over my desk behind my computer monitor and she like grabs at my fucking feet and she's doing it right now. I don't even know how she's able to reach my feet because, so I have my feet up on a stool, but I don't know they're that high up, you know? She's able to reach them and she'll try to play with my feet. Oh my god, she's doing it again. Literally crazy little animal. I have a crazy cat living with me. Anyway. I actually also want to get the bay. You know what, I'm just going to like let myself buy horses. Even though I don't really like to train. I'm going to... I need to do training videos anyway. You guys have been like crying at me for so long. Like, why aren't you making training videos? You dumb ho, like, get to work. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, I need to do videos again. I really miss making videos, to be honest with you guys, because I feel like I don't really have people to talk to most of the time. And I'm really lonely when I have nobody to talk to or share my thoughts with. So this is kind of like an excuse for me to do it. It's like, I, c I have so many things I can think about and talk about for hours that, like, I don't get to share with anybody. So. Yeah, it's, it's really nice to be able to do this. And I love this buckskin. This buckskin is a beautiful color. We usually get such bright buckskins. But this one is like a really nice um, brownish color. I feel very comforted by it. Also, the bay... Belgian warm blood, I think, looks a lot like the old English thoroughbred. So, I don't know if you remember the old English thoroughbred, but that was, like, my special warm blood. You know, that was my special brown warm blood that I loved the most. I named him Storm Runner, but now his name is Storm Chaser, and he's the updated dark brown thoroughbred. But I really don't like the th English thoroughbreds, you guys. 
I've slowly started to hate them, and I think it's because they have these awkward, like, standing animations where they just don't look well, you know what I mean? They kind of look like they're lame. I don't understand. Like, they just look weird. They really didn't do the English thoroughbreds justice at all. The, I mean, the Arabians are perfect, but, like, you know. Anyways, let's go do some actual content now. Let's go to... Sunfield Farm. I think that's where all of the quests are. <clears throat> and we'll just go ahead and we'll do some questing together. We'll read some stuff. I'm actually really excited to do these with you guys. You have no idea. I've been looking forward to this. You know how much I love to quest with you. Read stuff. It's a lot of fun. Woohoo! Let's go. Here we go. Here's the one bitch. What's your name? Zuri. And she's riding... She or he? I can't tell. It's, is this a non-binary person? We'll find out. Azuri's the name and racing's the game. Are you here to participate in the H&M Grand Prix? Is that how you say it? Grand Prix or Grand Prix? Because I feel like if you called this a Prix, like, let's be part of the Grand Prix. Like, <laughs> that'd be kind of a double-edged sword, you know? So, uh, I think it's Grand Prix. Anyway. Wait a minute, have you heard of the H&M Grand Prix before? It's a prestigious show jumping event that usually takes place during the annual Sweden International Horse Show. This year, they've branched out to our little island of Jorvik. Not only can you two ride different Grand Prix show jumping courses, but you can be in the presence of equestrian ro royalty. Have you seen who else is here? That's the H&M All In. Peter Fredrickson's top horse. He'll be here for as long as I'm around and you'll be able to find him in Fort Pinta even after I leave. I've always dreamed of being a Grand Prix rider. Racing past the roaring crowd, wind in your hair, dirt track in your wake. It's a magical feeling. Try it for yourself and you'll soon see what I mean. Come and talk to me when you're ready to participate in the Grand Prix. Look at that saddle pad that we can't have. I love that. Thanks for adding more tack that like is exclusive to um, NPCs. Also, I like the um, brown. Though that helmet does not match. No, it does not. The boots do. The boots are pretty nice. Kind of. I don't know. The leg wraps don't match either. The leg wraps are way too bright blue. Yes, I'm talking shit on your outfit because you don't match, bitch. But the NPCs are really cute. You might have seen this course, de course design. Oh, this is an old one. Let's do the old one first. An oldie but a goodie, as they say. Oh, this is going to be so fun. We're just doing some show jumping with our new Belgian warm blood. Just jumping really right off the gate on the new horse, jumping over water jumps. Because we are badass. Yes, we are. We ain't scared of nothing. Wow. <laughs> I wonder if there's any music to go along with this. Oh, I failed. That's embarrassing. Okay, now's the real, the real course. Let's go. I'm trying to get some, like, cool footage. Oh, shoot. I turned the wrong direction. It's all good. We're all fine and dandy. Oh my god. Also, if you guys notice that the way that your horse like stops, like with the Belgians, is they kind of turn a little bit when they stop, but then they go back to forward. I'll show you after this race. <clears throat> a lot of people were sad um, that they took away the Belgian horse, the Belgian warm bloods. Um, what was it? The kick? Um, it was able to, like, do a kicking animation, but apparently that wasn't supposed to be for the Belgians. That's for the for another horse that they're doing in the future. So I think we all know what's coming after the Tennessee Walkers. I do think that we're going to be getting... Um, I do think that we're going to be getting Mustangs. So, hopefully we do. Now we're doing the 2022 show jumping. Where's the 2021? <laughs> this music sucks. 
the, the music sucks so bad that I'm failing at the jumps. <laughs> Look how high they are. Like, oh my god. Also, I didn't realize there were so many people riding those buckskin. I kind of feel like, uh... Like I'm part of the crowd now. Sad. But there's also a lot of people riding the bay, so I don't feel that bad. I mean, people are just riding the Belgians in general, so whatever. <clears throat> I still love my horse, I don't care. It's beautiful. It's lovely. It's the best one. Actually, I don't know which one is the best. <coughs> they're all really good. They're, honestly, they're all tied for being the best. They're the best for each code, you know? It's really up to your opinion which one is the best. <gasps> Benzie can fly. Hello. Hold on, I gotta pause my recording. Hey guys, we're back. So, my boyfriend just came home and gave me some dinner. So now that I've eaten, let's continue our quests and our racing and all of that fun shit. Let's continue to train. This song sucks ass. You guys hearing this? Like, this is a trash song. I don't like it. <laughs> Oh my god, it's actually so bad. It's like that song that you play when something is... Oh, oh it got pretty. Never mind. That's like that song, like the beginning of that song was, it's that song that you use when something is super awkward happening. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to do these quests. I'm so excited. Let's go see what Herman's up to. <laughs> Actually, I have no idea what's going to happen. What is going on with Herman? Herman is, as we know, he's a very interesting character because Herman is known for giving Lisa Starshine and being able to tell that Lisa was the right person for Starshine. Um, so he has this connection with the Keepers of Aideens, the Druids. He, he understands horses. So <clears throat> let's see what's what his is all about with him. So? Sylvie, Starshine and I are about to visit Herman. Join us. Well, this is wholesome. There's just one teeny problem. We have no clue where he is. Oop, sorry, I'm just moving my... Um, maybe someone around the stables knows. One sa 100 sacks of feed for the pigs. Oh no. It's mixed with straw. Everything's falling apart. Steen, you seem stressed. Is everything okay? Can't talk. Too much to do. What do you need help with? Maybe we can... Everything! Poor Steen. It can't be easy managing Yorvik's stables. Maybe we can help him out and ask about Her Herman once we're done. Help, yes, I need... Someone to to pick out the straw from each sack of pig feed. Need to pick out straw? Don't see any pig feed in here. <clears throat> what a fun quest, guys. <laughs> so this is that type of quest that you just... You just click and you, you wait. Yeah, very riveting gameplay. You're telling me there's no pig feed in the sacks? Only straw? This is a disaster! I didn't check all of them. Herman needs to come back. I can't cope without him! Please, you have to help me find Herman and bring him home. Steen, it's alright. We're gonna help you out. Do you remember the last place you saw him? I have no idea where Herman is now. Um, I don't know where he is. Do I know? Yeah, about that. You're telling me you know where he is? Oh, right. I remember now. 
I saw him in Valedale the other day. I think he was visiting fra free some friends. Mm -hmm. He's in Valedale? That's halfway across the island. The last I heard, he was riding down to Epona with Sylvie. Mm -hmm. Please, could you tell him to come home? Yorvik Stables needs him. Don't let him out of your sight until he's right back here. He'll only get distracted again. <clears throat> I don't remember Herman being the distracted type, to be honest. I remember him being very focused. You know, he had a mission. He was like, I'm going to go to Epona um, because I have to stop. I have to stop the GED. You know, like he was ready. <laughs> that boy was on a mission. So let's go to Vale Dale. <clears throat> Here is Mr. Herman. Hmm. Sylvie, you're just in time. I'm about to embark on a grand, a brand new adventure. Hmm? Yes, it's true. I'm opening up a cookie cafe. I call it Everybody Nades a Cookie. Hmm. Huh? What are you looking at me like that for? It's time to go home. Hmm? <laughs> home? Home, Yorvik Stables by Aideen. How long have I been gone? It could have been days, weeks, years. <laughs> I think I need a recap. Do you remember why I left Yorvik Stables? Nope, remind me. It all started when I hid my house to avoid Jack Goldspur's efforts to make me the mayor of Jarlheim. If it weren't for you, I would have been in there forever, living off tea and cookies. I don't rem remember that. Oh wait, I remember! Never mind. Yeah, that was back when you're like a noob. You did those quests. Then we started working together to uncover what Miss Drake and GED were up to around Harvest Counties. Our epic ride through Grey Dew Mountains to Epona was for unforgettable. Things took a turn for the worse when I was taken by GED, but you rescued me with the help of Chill. Mm -hmm. After my rescue, I came here to rally support for from the Druids, but promptly forgot about that when I saw the locals protesting over the planned burning of Hollow Woods. I started getting involved with that movement and then got distracted with the cookie business. I think I was having a midlife crisis. <clears throat> I'm having a moment of self-actualization here. I've been chasing all these different causes when I really should just come home and look after my stables and my people. Steen, Johanna, Joanna, Johanna, Starshine. <laughs> it's funny how my desperation to escape becoming mayor took me on this wild adventure. I'm going to take the upper entrance into Jarlheim, just to be sure. And no, I don't need a lift. I'm the power-walking champ of Jorvik. <laughs> See you in Jarlheim! <clears throat> I actually, like, don't remember rescuing Herman from GED. Maybe we did that, like, a long time ago. It was probably ages ago, to be honest. I remember that, that quest line was, like, on a cliffhanger for the longest time, but I think we did save Herman. It was just so long ago that I barely remember it. And also, it, it was probably like very forgettable quests, to be honest with you. But yeah, what the hell, why are there these green crates in the way? What's going on? <clears throat> oh, there he is. It's about time. I've been thinking up my next cookie recipe while you've been riding here. Oops, I'm getting distracted again, aren't I? Okay, focus mode. Time to get home. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. He's right there. It's Jack Goldspur, mayor of Jarlheim. We can't let him know I'm here. He'll make me his advisor or something. We have to find another way t to sneak past. To make matters worse, the GED gu guards are lurking around today, around town today. If they see me, I'm, I'll be toast. Whatever will I do? Quick, hide. Someone's coming. Huh, that bush looks oddly Herman-shaped, right, Tin Can? If it isn't Alex Cloudmill and Tin Can. Hey, the bush even sounds like Herman. Ha, huh, ain't that funny. Alex, it's me, Herman. It's so good to see you. What a surprise. Meh, I smelt you from a mile away. No one else on... Yorvik smells like fresh horse cookies. Now, where are they? Can I take- I can take one off your hands. For meteor, you know. 
Of course, boy, and one for yourself, too. I'd love to stay and chat, but we're in a bit of a pickle. Jack of Goldspur is around that corner, and the moment he sees me, he'll rope me into being mayor. You've got to help me. <clears throat> this is a job for the wrath of, the wrath and fury of lightning. Just joshing. Not everything can be solved with Soul Rider powers. A phone call and the power of words, however. Sit tight, Herman. Sylvie, how are your secretary skills? Actually, don't answer that. Surprise me. <laughs> Here's the plan. I call Jack and you pretend to be Mayor Peanut's executive exis uh, assistant. We need to make sure Jack runs for the hills so the coast is cleared for Herman. The best way to do that, tell him there's work to do. You've got this. Mm. Hello? I'm very busy, you know. <clears throat> um... Hello, Mayor Goldspur. This is Mayor Peanuts, executive assistant. Huh? Who is this, and why do you sound so formal? Whispers. Oh, zap. That wasn't part of the plan. Tin can, you're our only hope. Ahem. <clears throat> Jack, tis I, Mayor Peanut, the talking horse. Wait, I thought only the soul riders could talk to their soul horses. What? How's he able to talk to a human? Whatever. There's my boy, sounding chipper as ever, if a little horse. What's the on the agenda? Are we still up for mini golf next Friday? Mayor Peanut needs you to lead the junior Yorvik Rangers in the annual fence painting day. Manual labor? Gulp. Or I will promise to help my sister with something that day. It worked. Herman is free to roam Yarlaheim as he pleases, with no threat whatsoever of mayor. mayordom. Yo, let's meet at Yorvik Stables later, okay? I'm gonna rope in the others and organize a thing for Herman's homecoming. See ya! Okay. Phew, he's gone. Whatever you did, it worked. Let's sneak through Yarlaheim and try to avoid these pesky GED workers. Or even worse, Miss Drake herself. Yeah, we definitely don't want Miss Drake. Yeah, no. Even though I love her, she's so iconic. <clears throat> Sylvie, can you ride ahead and make sure the coast is clear? I trust you. Of course you trust me. Of course you do. I'm the best. Hi, Sonya. How's your head injury? Am I teleporting Herman places? I am. We're so close to Yorvik stables. I can practically smell it. Yeah, glad you can smell that well, Herman. Hey, don't you look familiar? Wait a minute. You are familiar! You're that guy that Big Boss doesn't like. Oh my god. Stop right there. Listen up. Under Article 30 of page 17 of the Global Energy Dominations Rule Book, I'm obliged to... Er, hold on. I can't remember. Let me check the handbook. <clears throat> Now's our chance, Sylvie. Let's make a run for it. You snooze and you, lo you lose, GED. I love that. <laughs> I love that. That's funny. Oh my god, a hermit! <laughs> Look at him go! He's like... Actually... Uh, like, Herman is so iconic. I love Herman. Like, yes. <laughs> I hope this game never loses this, like, uh, funny, like, quirkiness. It's just good. It's just great. That totally made my day. Where are we going? This way. Why can't we just go to Yorvik Stables? Why am I running this way? <clears throat> Um, it's okay. I'm trying. I'm trying to bond with Watership a little bit. What should his nickname be? Watership. No, oh, he's like based on a rabbit show. So Warren. That used to be my Bay Icelandic's name, Warren. Maybe I could just name this horse that instead. I don't know. But I need to eventually get the Bay Icelandic. I just, I don't know. <clears throat> I think his name was Wes Walker. Yeah. <sighs> so many things I must do. Mm -hmm. Watership. His name is Worship. Worship. <laughs> no. Can't name a horse of worship. What kind of a name is that? It's too religious. 
I don't know. Maybe worship isn't a horrible name for a horse. What do you think about the name worship for my horse? Is it too religious or is it like a kind of interesting? I'm trying to be different now, okay? I'm trying to be like spicy. Let me know if I suck. You know what? I love hate comments. They're very funny. Alright, here's the Mr. Herman. Home sweet home. Everything is exactly as I left it. The grand old stables, walls, if walls could speak. The old riding hall that has stayed closed for years. I could tell you what's inside, but then I'd have to... Ha, joking. My home, did I leave the lights on? <clears throat> my kettle is almost screaming my name. Did I wash it out before I left? I'm going to head into my home and check on my kettle. I promise I won't lock myself in there forever. Sylvie, you're here. So I really did see you and Herman escaping the clutches of GED in Jarlheim. Tin Alex and Tin Can came knocking for me soon after, shouting about throwing the best bash you ever has ever seen. So here we are, putting our organizational skills to the test. Isn't that right, Meteor? I'm working on the catering. There'll be cookies and apples for days. There's just one more person to invite, but she's kind of hard to reach. Sylvie, could you do the honors of riding over and inviting her? I'm talking about Dorothy Yarl Yarlison. You won't have to ride far. She lives over at Paddock Island. Why Dorothy? Why? Why? Why Dorothy? What about, like, anyone else? Does Herman have a thing for her? I don't remember if she's married. Boing. Boing. Look at the tail flip on this horse. Can we just appreciate how pretty that is? Boing. Boing. It looks so good. So Herman is back on this side of Jorvik. It feels like it's been forever. I'm afraid I can't join the celebrations, but I have a gift for him. Could you make sure it gets his way? It may look like a mere slip of paper, but it's so much more. You'll find out what it means in, oh, four and a half years, maybe? Ha ha ha. Good luck with your party. Give Herman my regards. Four and a half years. Four and a half years from now. What does that mean? Explain! <laughs> Maybe it's like a savings bond or something. I don't know. Do you think they have plans to update Yorvik stables? Some people were talking about that. I hope so. That would be really cool. But I really want Hollow Woods to be updated first before anything else. And then Dino. They should just prioritize Hollow Woods and then Dino. And then they can do these buildings, like, later on. Hmm. I left my house to find the stables are full of people. You wouldn't have anything to do with this now, would you? There you are. All my friends gathered while you were gone. You didn't have anything to do with this, Sylvie. You shouldn't have. <clears throat> What's this? A note from Yorth Dorothy Yarlison? Open in four and a half years. How ambiguous. I can't promise to wait that long. You can do whatever you like, so long as you don't run off on a new adventure. Huh, I had quite the experience out there. I saw things I'll never forget, and learned about things I wish I could, but Yorvik Stables will always be my home. What did you do while you were gone, Herman? Tell us. Sylvie, you can explain better than me. Um... Which one do I pick? Uh, saving your opponent from Miss Drake's evil plan. Miss Drake? That sh name sure rings a bell. A story for another time. What matters most is that I'm here to stay. Yay! For now, I want to catch up with all of you. We've had quite the adventures together, haven't we? It's good to finally be home. Here, I want to take some, you to take something of mine. This bag has served me well in my adventures. I've taken it from Epona to Valedale, and even to visit my brothers in the north. 
Brothers in the North. What? My traveling days are over now, but yours are only just beginning. You could have it on water ship, maybe even carry a pet in it. <laughs> Go buy pets! Thanks for everything. I hope to see you guys around here, or hope to see you around here again sometime. Nice. We've got a little saddlebag. You know, I feel like this would match that one uh, outfit from the store. That one set. Show owned. If I go down a little bit. Where is it? We all know what I'm talking about. Um, this one. Would it match that? I want to go see. Let's go call for pickup and check it out. Let's go check it out. Check it out, check it out. Baby, I just want to check you out. I need to stop. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. I think instead of the bridle that it comes with, which is what this one? No. I don't even I don't even think I own it because of how ugly it is. But I think Oh, this bridle looks kind of nice with it. Yeah, let's do that. And then, what saddle pad? What saddle pad would look good with these, like, little things? <clears throat> Should I blind people with pink? I don't, you see, I don't like saddle bags, you guys. I just think they look ridiculous. This is what it came with. But you guys get the idea, right? I don't need to show you this outfit. I don't want to really want to wear that because it's it's kind of like a noob outfit to me. Like I see a lot of people buy that shit and just like wear the full set a lot and I'm like, "Yeah, no, I don't want to do that." It's just so kiddish to me. Not a very professional rider. It's cute though. Like, I'm gonna keep it. So. Let's train, I think. Do some training. I think I finished everything else. So there's nothing else for me to do except for train. Yas, we love to train. Thanks for doing those things with me, you guys. It was a lot of fun, and I think we finished everything. Oh, wait. Horses of Jorvik Focus Races. Starshine Ranch. Am I able to do it on this horse? Probably not, but let's go check it out. So we'll see what it's all about. My boyfriend got me these... What are these? Dove... What does it say? White chocolate... Pumpkin pie. Ooh. Chocolates. I haven't gotten anything like this in a really long time. It must be Valentine's Day. Okay, hello, Gil Guillermo. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> I don't really read what he says. So I need a curly American quarter or a paint. Okay, I'll go get a paint horse. Actually, I'm gonna ride that one underrated as fuck horse. Hmm. The candy is pretty good. People, 
Do not give this work. Wait. The fuck? Why? Why would the game do that to me? Where's Witcher? Keep your eyes open for a green horse. There she is. The fuck? S no, stop. Like, what? My mind is broken right now from this. No. Okay. The fuck? Oh my god, I'm so- I'm so confused. What is going on? Watership. Where have you gone? He's a Belgian, so he's probably like all the way. This whole year. There he is. The fuck, my god. This game is so buggy, I swear to god. Did you see the pain I just went through? What, 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 what the hell? Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna take your tack now. That was the most confusing thing I've ever seen in my life. My brain is still broken over it. What the hell? Anyway, we're gonna ride Bramble Snap. Because this boy. Oh my god. This horse can't wear the new tack. Star Stable needs to finish retrofitting their shit, okay? Because I am sick. Like, the bridle doesn't even work. So I'm gonna have to wear, like, a crusty bridle. This is like my backup saddle pad for this shirt, okay? It still matches to me, I think. And if it doesn't, well, suck my dick. I don't really care. I do not care about your little about, about your little feelings, okay? And nobody cares about your little feelings. Nobody. You are a speck living in the middle of specklessness. So let's go to Starshine. Yes, yes. On my big booty bitch. Big, big booty bitches. That's what the quarter horses are. They are just big booty bitches. Living their best life. Being fat. P H A T. Let's try this out. I bet it's gonna totally be fun. Is this one of the fast turning races? No, it is not. Simple things, they mean everything. Blah, blah, blah. Wow. My name's Lisa Peterson, and I like to be annoying. I cry about my mom all day and I don't understand what I'm doing so I ride my starshine and I cry in the woods nobody gets me hashtag emo lifestyle <laughs> I made a new song guys I pretend to be goth even though I'm not goth. I'm just a boring country girl. Nobody relates to me. Why did Star Stable change me so drastically? I miss being the way I was. That's Lisa's new song, you guys. The better song. 
I gotta go collect this XP on my other horsey. <clears throat> See, that's the annoying thing about this, like, new temporary race, is that they just released a new horse, so... To train the new breed, you have to, like, go back in time on an old horse, and then... whatever. Watership, are you still broken? Okay, I think I fixed him. I don't know. Hopefully. Here's still hoping. Is it gonna make me do the race twice, I wonder? In that case, we'll just... Well, we won't put any tack on Watership, we'll just... Ride him like this. Bareback riding, wow! Amazing! I'll at least put a bridle on him, so then he has something, you know. I like how tight the reins look, like wow. Yes, choke my horse. Starshine Ranch, here we go. It's good to have your reins collected. Oh my gosh. We need to have collected reins. Yes, we do. We are proper equestrians. Oh my god. Yeah, there's another one. Should I ride a curly horse just for shits and giggles? Because I know how many of you hate curlies. Let's see. <clears throat> I should ride my ugliest curly. Potato cake. Yes. <laughs> Actually, no. I want to ride... I want to ride this one. My s'mores girl. I wish I could just name her s'mores. That would be so cute. But no. Star Stable is dumb and won't let me do it. Wait. Why isn't the bridle showing up on her? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, let's go bring Sweet Crush. AKA s'mores. Yeah, I just named her s'mores. Like... She just looks like s'mores to me. I love it. Like, her mane is so tasty looking. Like, I would eat that mane in my mouth. It looks like chocolate. Like, ma marshmallow and melted chocolate. Mm. And I just ate a couple of chocolates and now I'm like, I'm pretty satisfied. Oh my god, look, we're twinning. Like, my horse is the fat version of her horse. That's so cute. <laughs> okay. I love this horse because I love that it's a dun. Duns are better than not duns. <clears throat> you know that if this horse was in Red Dead, I would be riding it constantly. Because curly horses in Red Dead would definitely look better. They wouldn't look so disgusting and crusty. Actually, the cur you know what? People give the curly horses so much shit, but I love this breed. I love the curlies. They are so cute. Look at this little baby. She's a baby. Oh my god. She's like chunky and tall. And she's got like cute... I don't like the way her butt moves. Like, I'll give you that. I don't like the way that the butt, like, goes so far down. It's really awkward. But this horse also has the gait to, like, do a tolt, basically. So, we love that. <laughs> My name is Lisa. And I'm not cool anymore, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Star Stable changed my design and made me an unrelatable country girl. And now I suck and everything I do is cringe. <clears throat> anyway. Thanks for participating. You're welcome. No, I accepted the XP. <laughs> Fuck my ass. Why did I do this? <laughs> I hate myself. Anyway. <sighs> Why did I accept the XP? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. I'm not going insane. 
you are insane. Not me. Why would I be insane? I'm a perfectly sane person. I never do anything insane in my life. Wow. Hi, water ship. He's like, hello, mom. <laughs> bum 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 bottom. Does it ever bother you guys how like this is not like walnut brown? This is like shiny, like light brown poop, and it doesn't even match a saddle. Does that bother anybody else? Like, I almost just want to put on this bridle instead because this one actually matches like the proper brown. You know what I mean? Like. This does not. This does. Tell me that doesn't look better on this horse. Like, it does. You, like, you know it does. Like, I don't want to hear it. Uh. I don't want to hear it, okay? I don't want to deal with you. I kind of want to put on the western bridle. The old one, yeah. It just looks like a nice dark color. You know what I mean? It just, it just does. You don't, you don't get it. You don't, you're, you don't get the vibe. Anyway, let's go back to training. I want to train. I want to get some training done and everything. We're just going to do 250 XP races because I'm not in the mood to do the whole freaking training route. You know how many, you know how many hours it takes to do the training route nowadays? Like, it literally takes me, like, 10 years to do it. Like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm... No, I'm not going to do that. You're dumb. I'm going to go to Fort Pinta. I want to do the training route in a different way today. Okay? I want to do it differently. So, I want to start at Fort Pinta, okay? That's where I'm going to start. And I'm going to do kind of a weird route. And just, like, show you something different for a change. Because I know that you guys are, like, so sick of me doing the same route. So, I'm doing it differently. We're starting at Fort Pinta. We're gonna go straight to Syndra because we hate when another fat guy rides my horse. Okay, I'm not doing that. <clears throat> You're not gonna break my horse's back. No, you are not. Plus, you don't give me enough XP anyway, so how would I let you ride my horse? Definitely not. But yeah. Wow, such beautiful music. I kind of want to listen to, like, some no copyright music instead of this garbage. So let's let's look something up on YouTube real quick. I'm gonna pause my game. <clears throat> let's see, let's see. No copyright music. Chill hop. Hopefully all of this, all songs are safe to be used in your video. Nobody will strike your video. You can use you can use all songs as background music for your original and creative videos. Um, send the video link, link to my label, uh, okay. I just have to really, I just have to put this in the description of the video, okay, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna put your links in my YouTube video stomps playlist, so don't strike me, okay? There we go. We got some chill music now. We're gonna be, oh, we're gonna be vibing with my green outfit. I love this. Why does this bridle look kind of broken? Anybody else see that? Like, wait, you can't see it. What? The bridle is not straight. Oh well, whatever. I just won't pay attention to it. So, what should we talk about? Hmm. Oh yeah, I did want to discuss the spoilers for the Tennessee Walking Horses. So, I actually, I looked at the animations and I, I kind of want to do like an in-depth review of the animations, but you guys, I don't really know a lot about Tennessee Walking Horses in real life. All I know is that they were used in abusive practices. Everybody knows about Big Lick. Everybody knows how abusive it is. People were yelling at Star Stable to death over it, like telling them, please don't add like the 
big lick animation and all of this and it's like obviously they're not going to do that do you think do you really think star stable wants to be like put under fire everybody knows how abusive it was um so yeah of course they're not going to do that and i looked at the horses and i can say with full confidence that i think that the animations were done really realistically but I don't personally like Tennessee walking horses, like the real life horse. I think they're really skinny, lanky looking horses. That, like they're not like a nice sport horse like the Belgians. So I don't know, but maybe I will like them more when they come out. From what I saw, they look really nice. Like they do look like a horse that I would want to buy, especially the dapple gray. I love the dapple gray. So we all know I'm going to be buying the dapple gray. Okay, shut up. Um, so when that horse comes out, I will probably review it. I'm not going to review the animations because I don't know, I don't know enough about Tennessee walking horses. And I watched some videos of Tennessee walking horses, like, movements in real life. And I just feel like they're, I feel like their movements are really weird in real life. Like, they just look like big, lanky camels. They look so, like, weird to me. So maybe that's why I think that they're a weird horse. But I still like them and I'm still going to I'm still going to buy one, I think. But yeah, as you can see, I'm not like <clears throat> extremely excited for them. There's so many people who are like f losing their shit over the fact that we're finally getting Tennessee walking horses. But there's also a lot of people who are disappointed because there's no bay, there's no chestnut, there's no basic like black. Um people really like their basic bays and ch and their basic black coats you know or no there is a there is a black that's coming out but there's no there's no chestnut or bay that's just like basic you know so <clears throat> i think that star stable honestly needs to like add a lot more coats to their breeds from now on i just think like seven coats is not enough because every breed has like a really wide variety of coats and for some breeds, they don't need to do, like, a crap ton of coats, you know what I mean? Like, like the Halflingers, the Halflingers probably could have lost, like, two extra coats and would have been fine. Um, like, they probably didn't need the app one, they probably didn't need the red-colored one. <laughs> but it's fine, it's good to have variety. I like variety, personally, so I'm fine with the Halflingers. But, um... A lot of people were, like, really bored of the halflingers because of how boring their coats were. Like, honestly, I'm okay with Star Stable mixing it up and doing unrealistic coats. Like, when they did the Frisian coats, I was perfectly fine with them adding, like, the sport Frisian colors. And, like, also giving us, like, an Appaloosa and, like, a liver chestnut or whatever. I thought that was fine. I loved it. I'm like, yes, give me, like, all the interesting coats of the Frisian. Even though Frisians in real life have been bred to crap so that they are only black but like who cares like just you know make your basic black coats right but then like also make your make your unique ones as well that i'm fine with I'm, i like the unique coats added into a breed it's more fun it's more like interesting like i don't want to just have like a stable full of boring ass horses you know what i mean I like different looking horses and it doesn't matter. It's literally a horse game. Like, why do you care if every breed is like sticking to the complete 100% realism? But the Frisians animations and their mane and their tails, like everything else, like aside from their coats, everything else about the Frisians, like people hate them. They actually suck. Um, they have to be redone. And Star Stable said they're going to redo them in the future, but it's like when? After you do the Mustangs and the Morgans and how many other breeds are you going to do before you finally get to the Frisians again? You know, and it felt like with the Arabians, they really w they were snappy with the Arabians. I mean, we had the Arabians and the Pintabians for so long, but not that long. And then they updated them, and then we got, like, the updated Arabians. You know, with the Frisians, we've been, like, stuck with, like, the shitty Frisians that we hate for so long. They are, they are all Barbie horse Frisians. None of them are, like, nice, like, actual Frisians. 
And a lot of people, do you guys remember when the North Swedish came out and people were saying how the North Swedish looks more like a Frisian than the actual Frisian breed in the game? Like that's, I think people want the Frisians to look more like that, like fluffy, but keep them tall, like, but make them fluffy and make them like, you know, like drafty looking, like people want them to be drafty, not super like sporty and posh because most people who own frisians in real life do not keep them like shaved and all of that like people but pretty much always leave them fluffy so that they can be out in the pasture in winter and things like that <clears throat> i would love a fluffy frisian breed i think that'd be sweet that'd be so much fun rather than like you know the one that we have now it's kind of crap to be honest with you, it's kind of like shit. I I only use my Jorvik Frisians as like the I call them the Jorvik Fuglies, and I use them as a warm blood like show jumping draft breed. I don't use them as like like I literally pretend that they are like some kind of draft show jumping breed. I don't even pre I, I pretend they're not Frisians basically because I just don't <laughs> I don't think they look like Frisians at all. You know what I mean? Anyway, the next thing, so, so I have like a list of things that need to be updated from like most important to least important, and here's my list, okay? Number one, the updated characters, okay, we all want to see these bitches get updated, but here's my thing on them, I want Star Stable to take their time and fix their faces, like fix the faces, they are so ugly from the beta, like I can't stand them, I can't look at them, they actually scare me a little bit, they're so creepy. And they have like really weird tight shoulders they just don't look they don't look human they look like toddlers like dolls they don't look like they just they're not cute they also we don't have the same like body type that we had before like why wouldn't they let us keep a skinny option I'm gonna make my character thick but like for other people who are skinny in real life why can't they keep their skinny option you know what I mean or people who just want to have a skinny character like, you know what I mean? And then there's also the issue with, like, how none of the faces look like the original faces. And that's a big issue for me because I think the original faces were actually really cool looking. They're very diverse. They're very different. All of the faces are very different. You have one that looks kind of like Barbie. And then you have one that looks like me. Like, pale ghost. Um, kind of like a creepy face. I don't know. I, I think my character looks kind of like... She's really serious, and I like that. And then you've got another face that's more cutesy with, like, uh, lazy eyes. Like, kind of what reminds me of Lou from Heartland. I don't know if you know what the face I'm talking about is. And there's another one that's, like, got kind of, like, Fluttershy vibes. <laughs> like, there's a lot of different faces. And there's also, like, one face that is, like, straight eyelash across and then, like, droopy eyes. Like, she looks like she hates her life. <laughs> <laughs> there's another one there's there's so many good faces like they're they're so diverse and we're getting these ugly faces that like have disgusting noses that stick out and they look like they just don't have any personality in them they look so soulless you know what I mean and I think that's because like the faces are not they're just all the same you know they're not like different like give give different eye shapes give different mouth shapes different like i don't really want like i don't like those ugly noses you know i don't i don't like them um yeah the faces are a big thing for me because the way that you express yourself in the game is how you are in real life you want to express yourself the way you want to express yourself and if you cannot do that if your character is stuck with you know, trying to find a face that doesn't look ugly, tr just trying to pick one that doesn't look ugly, um, then you're losing out on so many options. You know, you can't you can't give your character any emotions. You're just like trying to avoid the ugly jawline and ugly noses of the other faces, from what I've seen. <laughs> so yeah, I just really I'm not happy with the options at all. I think a lot of people are not. So they need to add on to it before they release the new characters, and I think that they are working on it. Um, so that's good. But like, yeah, they need to just like, 
this this process should honestly take like another year i don't want to see these characters come out until like way later on like i have a bad feeling that they're gonna want to release them in december and it's like no like it's too soon it's like it's just way too soon you know i want to i want this character right now like i honestly don't want the updated characters yet because they just they're disappointing they're not they're not it they need to work on them more give us the options we had before give us the good faces make us look cute like the npcs like the npcs have such cute faces just give us those faces Every literally everybody likes them why would you not give people what they are asking for and give them something completely different instead are you dumb <clears throat> anyway so yeah that's just how i feel right now I'm sorry if I seem really, like, angry about it, but I am, so deal with it. Um, <laughs> anyway, so that's the first thing that's more the most important to me, is the characters getting the proper representation. Um, and also giving the boy options. Are you stupid? Like, why is there no boy option? Like, it is 2022. Are you telling me horses are not for everyone? They're only for girls? Like, are you stupid? Like you make you make the horse commun community look worse than it actually is like you make us look like assholes for not letting boys make themselves in your own fucking game are you dumb <sighs> anyway it's just so irritating like what you have to be a girl to love to play a horse game like are you dumb are you dumb like why would you you're so retrogressive. You're so stupid and annoying. Oh, it's a sisterhood. Shut the fuck up. Okay, the, the main story literally doesn't even make sense anymore because Concord came back as a mayor. If Concord can come back as a mayor, we can come back as a boy. Like, who cares? Literally get over it. Like, I don't... Get over yourselves. Stupid female girl power. Get it out of my face. I don't... I don't care. Okay? Anyway, what's the next thing? So, the second thing is Hollywoods. Like, why is Hollywoods not updated yet? It's been four years since Silverglade got updated, and we still have not gotten Hollywoods updated. Like, are you dumb? <laughs> are you- I feel like I have to keep asking, are you dumb at Star Stable for not updating Hollywood? Like, at least do the trees. At least do something. Like, what are you doing? Just letting that poor area rot away. I don't understand why. Like. It is. It sticks out like a sore thumb. I can't take pictures over there because the trees are so ugly and I don't want to be seen with them. <laughs> so like, just update the poor trees at least. And the bushes. If you're not going to update the terrain in Hollowoods, at least do that. Like, what are you doing? Hollowoods should be a priority right now. Um, the next thing... The next thing that I'm a little bit angry about that needs to be a priority. Let me think. Mustangs, okay? Morgans and Mustangs. They should be the next breeds to be up to be coming out. I think the Mustangs should be first and then Morgans because more people are anticipating Mustangs. And also, if you're going to do Mustangs, you better add Picasso and Spirit, okay? Do not skimp out. Don't give us the don't give us a crappy spirit. Give us the old OG spirit, okay? Give us the done, the golden done. Like we want classic spirit and we want Picasso. If you don't know who Picasso is, he is a famous paint uh, Mustang. It's very wild and he lived to be like 30 and he was a wild horse and he was so iconic. And so many painters painted him. He became like a famous horse. So, yeah, we want to see Picasso, and we also want to see Spirit, alright? Two horses that are a must for the updated Mustangs. <clears throat> and I really don't care about, like, legal shit with DreamWorks. DreamWorks does not care about anything. They are so stupid when it comes to Spirit. Like, they should have made Spirit 2 years ago. They should be working on Spirit 2 right now. What are they doing? Like, they need to make a second Spirit movie. And it needs to be good, and they should have never made the stupid spirit show because it is trash. It is actual burning hot garbage. And if you like that show, well, you are also burning hot garbage. And you have no vibe, okay? Oh, there's, there's so many things wrong with that show, I cannot watch it. There was like a couple good episodes, but remember the movie that came out? 
with the spirit story with Lucky. They literally just took the first episode of Spirit and they just like, they took writing free the first episode and they just made the first episode into a movie. <laughs> like, I have never seen a more lazy film in my life. I watched this, I watched it on one, two, three movies because, bitch, I am not paying to see that shit. Burning hot garbage. It is like actual garbage, steaming pile of horse dung. It is not good. It is a bad film. It was kind of cute, but like it was boring and it was just like everything was so predictable. I can't. I just actually can't. Like DreamWorks has fallen so hard from their original. Like they they were so good. DreamWorks was like my favorite right next to Pixar. I was like these are the two best movie makers, but now I'm like no, Pixar's the only good one now because DreamWorks sucks. They don't make anything good anymore. Let me look something up, actually. DreamWorks most recent films. The Bad Guys. Okay, so The Bad Guys was actually good. I liked The Bad Guys. If you haven't seen that, it's really good. Definitely worth the watch. Boss Baby Family Business. Trash. Spirit Untamed. Yeah, that's the one. That's the writing free one. That's trash. The Crude's A New Age. Okay. I don't know about you, but The Crude's A New Age was actually, like, kind of cute. But it was still kind of trash at the same time. Like, it was just... It was obviously very random. Like, they focused a lot on just being random the whole film. So I did not really enjoy it, to be honest. It felt very, like, just random. I don't know. Trolls World Tour sucks. Abdominable kind of sucked. It was a little bit cute, but it mostly sucked. How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, 2019. That was obviously amazing. So yeah. <laughs> when your only good movies are like two out of how many? One, two, three, four. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's bad. Like you have two out of seven movies that are actually good. Actually like worth the watch. And what determines your worth as a movie company to me is when you can make me feel something when I'm watching the film. If I can feel an emotion when I'm watching, um, like if I feel like I'm on a journey, then you've made a good film. But honestly, even with Hidden World, I didn't feel that. Like Hidden World, Hidden World made me actually really annoyed because the whole point of the How to Train Your Dragon franchise was that two friends can overcome anything and they can be together through anything. Um, that they just want to like exist as friends in a world that does maybe not accept them. And then for them to like just okay toothless is horny so he needs to go have a family somewhere else <laughs> like i mean i understand if you love something and you have to let it go right you have if you love something you need to let it be free right but it's not like toothless wasn't free the the reason why he had to leave to have his family was because his girlfriend didn't like hiccup his his girlfriend was like antisocial, hated humans whatever Dumb reason, if you ask me. Like, I think that, um, I think that they should have tried to tame the girl as well and just keep them both. Like, why? Why did the Light Fury have to take Toothless away from Hiccup? So annoying. Anyway, oh, it's because he's the Alpha and he's got to lead the dragons. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. I don't care. Like that's stupid excuse. <clears throat> A poor excuse. Do you see the training route I'm doing, by the way? Do you see how, like, random it is? I'm just doing, like, 250 XP races. I'm not really worried about a training route, per se. Anywho. I think one of the better movies that I saw was actually, um, Sing 2. Sing 2 was really good. 
And then there was also this other film that really kind of sucked, but it was like kind of interesting. I think it was called like Lucky. Let me see. Lucky movie. Was it just called Lucky? No. It was like Lucky movie animated. Oh, it's called Luck. It's just called Luck. Yeah, that film was kind of like really annoying to me. So like the girl in the film, she's like an orphan, right? And she's about to turn 18 and she's about to like live on her own and everything. And she starts living on her own for the first time. And she's like really bad. She's got bad luck constantly. And then she gets a lucky penny from a cat. And the she suddenly her life is turned around and everything. Um, and then she like loses the penny and all the bad luck comes back. And it's like, it's really like, I don't like the film. You know, I really don't like it because it's very reliant on things that are not real that you need to like rely on like it's like believing in karma like oh <laughs> I believe that if I do this this means this will happen like it's so make believe you know what I mean it's you're not living in re the real the real world I think people who think like that everything is gonna all come down to their luck I just think that's really stupid like no. It's not about luck, okay? There's no such thing as luck. I think I think I could be considered a lucky person because I've had a pretty good life. But I mean, anybody could feel that way. Some people could think I have a bad life and then think that they are unlucky because of the life not going well. But I mean, this girl in this movie has a lot of people that she loves in her life. She's got, like, this little girl at the orphanage that, that she loves. You know, your life isn't complete shit. Like, you're not that unlucky. You're a nice person. Like, she's a nice girl in the movie. You've got no reason to be sad. You're, you're fine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I do think that some people think way too hard about everything that's happening to them. Um... And I get that, like, sometimes it's it's a lot worse when you're actually in that situation. But I don't know. For me, like, when I'm going through some shit, I just think, okay, this is just some shit and I'll get through it. Um, I'll go have my moment. If I need to be alone, I will just be alone. Or whatever it is. And then I'll get back up. I'll keep going. Because you have to keep going. You have to... Anyway, this is not motivational speech time okay we are not doing that i'm not a motiv motivational speaker i am just being real with you on what i think about life okay and i think people who just rely on luck are pussies just do something like if you want something just do it just go do it like shut up like stop making excuses get off your lazy butt and just do what you want okay you want to you want to clean your house go clean your house just clean it like turn some music on fucking put on some rubber gloves fucking get your broom like get the fucking house clean right now i don't give a fuck like if you want to if you want to go get a job like literally just walk out the door and go fucking drive around and drive from place to place like just see what's got job you know stop being stupid don't be stupid gain a brain cell and if you work at Star Stable, quit making updates that nobody wants, okay? Like, make things that people want to actually see in the game. I want Hollow Woods. <laughs> Just update Hollow Woods. Like, what are you doing? Get working on it. <laughs> Just use the same color palette that you already have there. And do... Just do an updated, like, basically do Wild Woods, but, like, less saturated. You know what I mean? Redwood Point is, like, perfect. Like, I love Redwood Point. It feels very, like, foresty. Maybe a little dense. It doesn't need to be that dense, but... You know what I mean? Like, just shut up. I don't want to do this race. I hate this race. Bye. Okay, what's the next place we're going to? I want to go to... New Hillcrest. Actually, I hate New Hillcrest. Let's go to... Let's go to Fir Grove, I think. Oh wait, Starshine. Starshine has a lot of stuff. 
<clears throat> Should we do Dundal? Uh, I'll do Dundal later. I want to do Starshine. Anyway, um, right now I have this like virus. I have like this redirect virus on my Chrome and I can't get it to go away. Like I'll try blocking it, I'll try deleting it like a million times. And every time, every every time there's a new day, um, I get the virus back and it just comes back and it won't leave me alone. And I'm so annoyed by it. I'm so annoyed by it. I honestly need to go and like figure out how to get rid of it. I need to contact like a Windows help or something and get them to like remove the virus. You know what I mean? I need help on it. Because, you know, Google doesn't have any support. They, they just don't. Windows has support though. We will get Windows to help me. Help me. I need help, bitches. Tell me what to fucking do. Because I don't know what to do. I've tried everything. I've tried, tried deleting programs. I've tried uninstalling Chrome and then reinstalling it. That didn't work. Um, yeah, it's just really annoying. I don't even know how you can get a redirect virus. Okay, here we have a donkey. Nice. You guys enjoying this music? Because I am. It's really nice. It's very calming. Relaxing. I feel very chillaxed right now. I'm also going to turn off my game audio so I can just enjoy the music. <laughs> Where's all of the freaking animals at, man? Oh, there's a full. Okay, cool. What should I talk about now? Let's go see what's on Star Stable's Star Stable Instagram. <laughs> we could also talk about what's on Reddit, but let's see what's on their Instagram. It's not gonna let me log in, is it? It's been like shit lately, I tell you. So irritating. Oh, it worked, okay. Alright, cool. Let's see what we got here. Oh my gosh, you guys. So, um... Look at this. The fifth slide is a serious red flag. Nose band is way too tight. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alan looks stressed slash in pain. Well, the well-being of horses is something every person at Star Stable strongly cares about, and we do understand your concern about this photo. However, knowing that H&M We Love Horses and Alan's rider Peter Fredrickson shares our and your deep concern for horses, we are confident that any tightness appearing in this photo is the result of unfortunate timing. Yeah, okay, unfortunate timing, sure. I hope so. <laughs> At least that was Alan's old owner, and hopefully he isn't tacked up like that anymore. Wait, isn't that still Peter Fredrickson in this video? Or this picture? I have no idea if that is even... This horse also got released on the app. But yeah. Whoa, what is this? It's like a glitch on my screen. I've seen this glitch before here too, it's kind of weird. At least it's only at that one angle. Well, you guys, I am running out of steam, like, in my brain. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts are about any of the things that I talked about. I love to hear them, as always. And if you enjoyed, um, 
and you want to see more shit from me, subscribe and I'll like the video and leave me comments for engagement and whatever. Um, but only if you feel like it. If you don't feel like it, then I don't really do it. Just do whatever you want. Um, anyway, have a great day. Bye.